The piano and organ are two of the most popular keyboard instruments in the world. Both of them are very similar. However, there are some key differences that really set them apart. We'll also discuss a lot of the similarities, playing techniques, and other interesting things to look for. First, let's start with how each instrument produces sound. Those are just a few of the basic differences between the two instruments. In this video, we'll dive into those as well as a few more things you want to know about when comparing the organ to the piano. Now, let's dive into the deep of this video. The way organs and pianos produce sound is really unique. The piano is a string-based instrument. When a penis presses a key, the lever in the action mechanism is released. This allows the dampers that are sitting on top of the strings to rise. The hammer then lifts at the precise speed and attacks when the key is pressed and strikes the strings. Because the damper is lifted, the string is now able to vibrate, allowing for the pitch to resonate. Organs also use a keyboard to choose the pitch, but the production of sound is much different. In the case of a traditional pipe organ, pressurized air travels through the pipes. This all works thanks to the tracker action, the mechanical link of the keyboard to the pipes. Depending on the age of the organ, the air can travel through lead tubes or through an electrical connection. As the air travels, each key provides a specific level of pressure that is used to push the air through the correct pipe to produce the desired pitch. Reed organs work similarly. They use wind pressure as well, and the sound vibrates against a set of metal reeds to produce the pitch. The piano is a much simpler instrument to deal with when it comes to the keyboard. Pianists deal with just one level of 88 keys. When reading through piano sheet music, they simply have to find their pitch based on the grand staff. The piano contains seven octaves with a centralized pitch being middle C or the fourth C from the bottom. When a penis wants to change the sound of what they're playing, while there are enormous differences between acoustic pianos and traditional pipe organs, there is less of that when it comes to their electric counterparts. Electric organs and keyboards produce their sounds in a similar way. Both are dependent on a loudspeaker or an amplifier of some sort to produce sound. In the case of a Hammond organ, the sound is produced from a large speaker cabinet. Then there are organs that simply plug into a sound system using a 1-4-inch sound cable as a digital piano would. On electronic organs, there are tons of additional features you won't find in a regular pipe organ. Many electronic organs are designed to look and feel like pipe organs. However, they produce the sound without using the pipes themselves. The action of those organs is tweaked to allow a realistic touch as if air pressure were being used as well which makes them very likable. Digital pianos like these are very similar to electronic organs. They are built to replicate acoustic pianos. However, there's a lot when it comes to features. Some digital pianos have speakers built into them. Usually, pianists will hook these up to an amplifier to get the best sound or use headphones. A traditional pipe organ is extremely expensive costing well over $200,000 for an entry-level model. More elaborate pipe organs cost in the millions. A lot of this has to do with the type of metal the pipes are made with, how many stops the organ has, and the overall size of the instrument. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.